Hey guys, my name is Tana and welcome to my channel. Today we are reviewing the Poton Saga MC2. MC stands for minor change and this is the second variant of that. They made some small tweaks and um, improvements to the saga and I'm I'm one of those guys who actually have never driven uh, for an extended period of time a saga. This is my first time driving this saga. I've driven the old saga but never this saga. And um, boy, I've got something to tell you guys, no? Stay tuned and find out what do I think about this Proton Saga MC2. Welcome back. So as I said, I'm a novice to Sagas and Bezas and sedans which are on the low end of the spectrum when it comes to your ringgit. Uh, I do have a MyV and I think MyV is one of those budget vehicles which are pretty good. But a MyV, if you think about it, it's back in 2006 when we bought the MyV or my wife bought one, it was 58,000 ringgit. Come think about it. And this vehicle here, this piece of engineering marvel here, starts at 34,000 ringgit. I think that's the biggest sell point over here. If you get the manual transmission, the base spec model is 34,000 ringgit. This is about 44,000 ringgit for the premium spec, automatic, and all the bells and whistles, which aren't that many. But still, for 44,000 ringgit, I'm surprised they can pull a car together this good. So, Let's turn the camera around to see what the Proton MC2 has to offer. So, where do we start? Well, we start with the... I've been told that the Proton Saga MC2 now comes with this... Uh, that that little thing there, that crossbow. And that's new apparently on the MC2. And so is the uh, logo there, which is more of a circular shape logo opposed to the... I guess the... Um, like a badge almost. And that's new with the um, Proton. And I think, you know what? It looks not too bad and this is one of those vehicles which i think is quite deceptive from far again from far looking at this it looks like a normal sedan but and i've seen this car on the road and i was like oh sedan fine you know and only when i get inside do i realize how small it is it's actually a really small vehicle you know it's so small that um if you sit here your hands can reach on the other side there. So it's a very small, nippy vehicle, great for city use. And I think that's the purpose of this vehicle. It's for city time, city driving, uh, nippy, and very fuel efficient. Let's go to the front again. So in the front, we've got these accents there, which is quite nice. I mean, think about this, for 44,000 ringgit, you have to go back to the price. For 44,000 ringgit, if this is what you get, that's a pretty good deal, darn good deal. And it comes with stuff like, for example, folding mirrors. Let me get the key out for you. Uh, this is a keyless entry system. So that's the key there. And as you press the, oops, control there, okay. I press the button there, so that it folds up. So it comes with auto folding uh, mirrors when you lock and unlock. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, let me show you another key, uh, another trick there focus camera and you go in the back and you press long i've been told it unlocks how cool is that so yeah the booth as you can see it's if this is meant for the rakyat so saga is always meant for the rakyat or the people and it's meant to be a very practical vehicle and as such the booth space is enormous gigantic and i'm quite happy to to, to report here that the dimensions here are very nice because uh, they have put these covers around this which I'm not sure whether the Beza comes with this but having those covers there means you can fully utilize all the space there you can put the bags and shove it to the very corner and uh, it won't get um, dinged up or scratched by the metal orifices uh, you have in vehicles like see on the top there you know so yeah I'm really impressed with the uh, booth space there and of course, being a budget car, you don't have all the features, but I'm sure there is an aftermarket uh, company you go to to get covers to cover all these bits and pieces. This is all exposed there, eh? and I'm pretty sure someone sells uh, on Lazada stuff you can close this up. And there's a theme over here. The theme is, like, how do we save money, money for you? 
and that's what Putan has done. They have saved money for the riot to give a vehicle which is pretty, pretty darn good. Think about this. Even this, I would have never thought about this over here. If the seats were pushed back, by having this arch there, you get more leg room. How smart is that? You know, uh, things that I've never seen in any other vehicle, which is here. And you've got obviously a cup holder for a bottle apparently. And you've got um, a door, which is um, a one-piece door. <laughs> this piece over here is molded together with the door card. These are all actually one piece. And even this over here, this is one piece. This is just for, uh, for accent. They've provided this kind of this molding here. But the whole thing is one piece. And that's how they save money. And I'm pretty sure, again, these are actually very plasticky, very cheap material. But you know what? I'm sure you can buy this uh, latch there and make it a little more premium for your uh, use but other than that quite nice that's my sitting position in front there now I complain about the side to side being not big enough yep better angle there but over here seated check it out check it out sorry for my um, sandals there um, <laughs> a lot of space for me to sit small car not a five seater for me if you ask me this is me sitting turn the camera around here so that's me seated and it's good enough a budget friendly car vehicle you get to work and come back carry your friends around and you know what good enough is the usb two of them how cool is that for the modern day uh, warrior extremely nice going to the front Things that impress me. Keyless entry, guys. Keyless entry in a car of this price point. Fantastic. So, getting in the car. Again, this is keyless entry. I put the key. This is where I put my key. And if I were to start the car up, let me find the key holder for you. One second. Oops, that's where it is. Whew. So, first impression. What do I see? You know what? One second, let me turn the camera around for you. I'm not sure um, which, ca which camp are you. I think as Malaysians, we are always into two camps. Uh, camp Paton or Camp uh, Pro Dua. Uh, all of us would have a first car and most likely, high chances, you would have had a first car with one of the local car companies, Proton or Padua. I am Team Proton. My wife is Team Padua. She bought her 206 uh, Proton My V. I mean, it's brand new and I bought my uh, Vera in 202 um, and I've been a Proton guy one of the things about Proton is that they make excellent air conditioning and whew, this air conditioning is nice and that's one of the things that have changed in this particular version of the MC2 let me just turn this around I'm sweating here because it was hot outside one second guys turn yes so on the MC2 they've changed the dials to become more modern uh this knob here opposed to being like a like the olden days kind of um dial kind of system the knob here does look better it works temperature you know what all you need in the car is this lock uh lock unlock your defroster your traction control i don't know how this works though and whether it actually exists in the car but parking sensors yes parking sensors do exist in this car your hazard light button is there and air conditioner on and off and a 12 volt socket as well as a usb point um one thing i found interesting about this layout now this is the air conditioning this is my leg and this is the air conditioning there and this is the screen now normally this this air conditioning uh, vents are a bit higher up and that also means the screen is so much higher up and if this is my viewpoint this screen normally is about here and the vents are normally about here just below my face but in this saga it's actually down here now what does that do for me let me the camera okay. i want you to think about this now how many times have you driven a car and you feel the air condition is blowing in your face you got to adjust it so that what it doesn't smack you in your face this conditioning this air con unit over here it's at this height also almost my stomach level and it's always pointing upwards or, or straight back uh, to the uh, rear passengers. I found for the first time, even blowing in my face because it's downwards 
and not through my eye, this is actually a much more comfortable position for air conditioning opposed to how typically we have air conditioning. Maybe by mistake, this is how it is, but I'm quite liking the air conditioning vents to be that much lower down um, towards my knee. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the steering here. One second, guys. Camera flip. This steering is quite nice. I was told this is really urethane, uh, like a urethane fake leather steering, but you know what? I quite like this. This seems perforated. I'm not sure whether it's real or not, but it, it, it holds uh, quite nicely. Not too soft, a little hard for my tie liking, but it's nice. Buttons, oh my gosh. The buttons are very, very nice. Very crisp, nice buttons. Has got a uh, nice uh, spongy feeling at the very end. And, and just firm uh, press at the initial start. So I'm quite impressed with the buttons over here. Next track, backtrack, mode. And talking about modes on this, so you've got the infotainment system over here. And this is your radio. You've got your Bluetooth audio, uh, no CD obviously. And uh, it's all you need, you know guys. It's all you need to make this work. It does come with something called easy connection here. See that? That's supposed to do a screen mirroring. But I didn't manage to get it work on my S22 Ultra and um, yeah, it didn't work on the, yeah, so 7th of, 12th of July, 12th of July, is it 12th of July today? Oh, interesting, time's wrong guys, <laughs> so the time doesn't sync across, I think today's Monday and uh, it shows here as Tuesday, not sure why is that, um, and yeah, that's about it, simple, and even when I talk about the molding uh, of the uh, door cuts being all one piece, same thing applies to the dashboard. It's all one piece. What you see here is almost like uh, fake, fake stitching, fake this, fake that. But you know what? This is me pressing all my might. <coughs> I'm pressing all my might here and this thing doesn't move an inch. So it's very, very well built, well built and put together slamming the door of the uh, glove box here you know what no flex whatsoever i'm quite impressed what gilly has done to uh, proton because the build quality on this car is fantastic um your lights over here now it looks premium enough and if you can see it here i'm gonna give you an angle there this is the weave that you have there that weave pattern you have in the uh, i think x70 which is also here this is a nice touch if you ask me you know again lights and light when you open the door black headliner oh i wish all car men just made black headliner but this isn't like a pvc material this is more of like a fabric um so it looks nice to see you touch it you feel like oh this is like a hard um rough uh fabric which i'm not i'm not having a problem with it because why it's meant to be in that price point and you also got black um, A pillars and B pillars so all around the car is black and it adds to the almost um, premium feel to it any other color this car will look a bit cheaper so quite digging the that that piece there I wish the door handles came with a different color maybe on this side but again I'm sure there is some company out there which makes uh, covers for this if you see one please uh, link on the about i mean put a link on the comment below uh on this particular model you've got uh these over here and these i believe are stick-ons so the same way the stick-ons are here i'm sure someone sells a stick-on like this for the door handle but again red accents here and here um i guess it pops no problem with that you know uh screen here is nice and small and what i found is that while driving uh, if i were to go to the phone for example here it was almost easy to uh, put my finger here and dial. So it's it's small enough, it feels like a phone. So it's like a phone on your car. <laughs> yeah, quite nice. Uh, linked devices um, and uh, easy port over here. What else to talk about the car? Driving the car, how does the car drive? Oh my God, you guys got to listen to this one. So driving the car. Um, this is a 90 odd horsepower 105 newton meter torque something like that you know it isn't a car that you talk about um power and how it pulls and how you now nah, it's not one of those cars yeah power is almost non-existent but when you do 
give it up to the rev limit, um, 3,000, 4,000 RPM, the car does come alive. Uh, the car handles very well. I mean, I, I must admit for a car of this price point, uh, it handles a lot better than most other cars I've driven. Uh, Proton always had good handling and I think they haven't less down. It handles very well. It's nippy. It turns when you want to turn it. The steering geometry as in, you know how some certain cars at low speed, high speeds, the way they turn is different. This one is very predictable. So I'm quite a fan of how it drives. What I'm not a fan of is the power. The power delivery is not there. But then again, this is meant to be a low cost solution, a car you use every day, a car that is fuel efficient and um, it's good for town driving and I think that is the aim of the car. Fuel wise, I pumped 25 ringgit and I almost got half tank. So 60 ringgit full tank um, gives you loads of mileage, a uh, car that is quiet enough because the car does very quiet in fact. And, um, and yeah, it's one of those practical cars that you get because why? instead of buying a motorbike you know guys pay, uh, pay a bit more longer period the same as a bike you can pay over nine years and you can get a car for that for that purpose alone i think this is one of the best budget offerings out there you know at forty-four thousand ringgit it's a bargain it's a bargain uh the only thing the only thing i'll do this car differently and this is this is shame on you proton shame on you proton is the only thing the car will do differently is these these tires are crappy guys there are some atlas tires i have no idea what tires are this maybe from china i'm not, not sure what they, what they are i mean i've never seen the tires but they behave horribly on the road horribly on the road you know uh, it's a shame when you got a car this good handled so well didn't put premium tires on these cars or at least give it an option when you buy the car so that's my only grab with the car that by standard factory from the from the lot you get these atlas tires but other than that for 44,000 ringgit guys oh my god it's basically buying a bike because it's small it's nippy it's light it's nimble um it's hardy i don't think this car can break because it's so well built, so well built put together uh, opposed to how Proton were built during the uh, uh, periods pre gili towards the end of that uh, sad uh, phase of Proton. Uh, so yeah, definitely give it a thumbs up, go have a look, try it out. I was quite impressed, although I'm not a car guy who drives uh, budget cars, but this one really caught my attention. So guys, this is my review. Hope you enjoy this. Till next time, this is me saying, as always, go out there and have a little more fun. Bye guys.